Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today we're going to be looking at the gross profit and the gross profit margin. I'm going to give you the definition and then I'm going to go over some examples with you and kind of expound on it for you. Uh, gross profit found on a company's income statement is a company's revenue minus its cost of revenue or COGS, the cost of goods sold. Uh, gross profit is the profit after selling a product or service and deducting the costs associated with its product, uh, production and sale. Accounting formula would be total revenue minus cost of revenue equals gross profit. Uh, the gross profit is also known as gross margin and gross income. By itself, gross profit tells us very little about a company, but we can use this number to calculate the company's gross profit margin, which can tell us a lot about the economic nature of the company. So let's look at a couple of examples right quick. Okay, as I've already stated, the gross profit is found on the income statement. I'm on Yahoo Finance uh, to pull up the income statement for Coca-Cola Company, uh, but you could find this information anywhere. As I mentioned before, you can find it on Google Finance. Your discount broker will have the income statements. Uh, and all this information is available to you for free uh, online, of course. Um, the gross profit, of course, is a very simple calculation. You take the total revenue, uh, that figure right there, and take the subtract uh, the cost of revenue from that figure, and then you get the gross profit, okay, right there. Uh, and that by itself, like I said, doesn't tell you a lot about a company. Obviously, you want to see it growing over time compared to the previous year, like you see over here, 22.4 versus 28.3. Uh, so we like that. Uh, but beyond that, what can you do with it? Well, you can do quite a bit, actually. Um, the gross profit margin, simply you, you take the uh, gross profit and you divide that um, by the total revenue. And this particular case, uh, looking at Coca-Cola, uh, you'll get a 60.9. That's a excellent number. The bigger that number, the better. Uh, so that's an important little element of your analysis process that you should do. If you're holding a stock, any company uh, in your long-term portfolio, and you do not know what the gross profit margin is, you haven't actually done your homework. Uh, let's compare this now, and you don't have to do it to, uh, you don't have to compare this with uh, companies within the same industry, but you, you can when you're trying to figure out which one is stronger. Uh, so let's compare this number now with uh, Pepsi, okay? Okay, Pepsi, of course, is the uh, rival of Coke, so let's have a look here and see what we can find. You can see the total revenue, cost of revenue, and gross profit. Total revenue here, cost of revenue here, and subtract this from this, and you get this, okay, the gross profit. Take this gross profit, divide it by the total revenue, and in this particular case, you're going to see that you're going to a gross uh, margin here of uh, 52.5, less than Coke, right? All right, so in that case, we can look at Coke as being obviously stronger than Pepsi. They are better at keeping their costs lower, all right? Uh, and this is this is hugely important. The higher the gross profit margin, the better, obviously. But this is where you get to the durable competitive advantage. When you hear Warren Buffett talking about a company having a durable competitive advantage, the gross profit margin is one of the ways to determine this. A company with high gross profit margins, uh, that they're effective at keeping costs low and revenue high, and this gives the company greater flexibility with its pricing, and it can allow it to weather storms that sink weaker companies. So that's really important. A company with a high gross profit margin is not a guarantee of success for investors, but it's a great place to start looking, all right? Uh, the durable competitive advantage is actually what differentiates Warren Buffett from his teacher, Benjamin Graham. Uh, Graham was a great value investor, the father of the concept, but it was Warren Buffett's durable competitive advantage a distinction that made Warren Buffett one of the world's wealthiest investors. Okay, uh, Back when uh, Buffett was actually working for Graham, uh, he noticed that a lot of Graham's picks would actually end up uh, going bankrupt and he would lose you know, his entire investment in that position. And for that reason, Graham would, would uh, diversify a great deal. Um, Buffett took the idea and he said, okay, you know, the concepts that Graham teacher are awesome, but it'd be even better if we could avoid those companies that just fell apart. So he came up with the uh, durable competitive advantage by uh, requiring companies to have that. He's, you know, legendary. He almost never finds a company that uh, ends up going bankrupt because he's got these these uh, companies with great durable competitive, competitive advantages, all right? As a general rule, and there are exceptions, a company with a gross profit margin at or below 20% is a highly competitive industry with little prospects for long-term wealth. A company with a gross profit margin of 60% or better is likely a company with great long-term prospects and a strong durable competitive advantage. There are other ways that even though you have a company that may have a, a good durable competitive advantage, um, with a high uh, gro gross margin, um, you can still have a company 
um, basically drop the ball later on um, with the company and, and you'll find examples of that in the future and we'll go over videos showing you different places for example a company could have a really good gross profit margin but then get itself way overextended in debt and it could end up you know really hurting the company uh, and, and killing it ultimately so there's other things that you have to watch out for but this is really a powerful tool for you guys that are looking for uh, finding good companies and doing your uh, fundamental analysis I would definitely start here one more item I want to note regarding the durable competitive advantage it's got to be durable that means not just a single year did it have a high gross uh, profit margin and go back and check it from five to ten years and see does it uh, consistently have that high gross profit margin if that's the case then it's probably a durable competitive advantage and that's important if you've not been to our free website at perfectstockalert.com it's right there it's 100 percent free all we ask in return please refer a friend God bless take care and I'll see you in the next video Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.